Our next story delves into efforts to increase the number of African Americans entering the science and engineering fields. African Americans have historically been underrepresented in those industries. Our Devin Feely introduces us to a San Jose State University professor trying to change that. I started enrolling to these classes and I started looking at the students and what the demographic looked like. And I started turning out to be one of maybe the only black female in the classes. Jerusalem Abbey is studying biomedical engineering at San Jose State University. She says it was daunting at first not to see others in her engineering classes who look like her. It's definitely isolating to not uh, see yourself represented in a classroom in any, even in um, research uh, opportunities. According to the National Science Foundation in 2015, African Americans made up just under 5% of people working in the science and engineering fields. It is not a question of intelligence, it's not a question of aptitude. Falerin Arabubu is a professor of biomedical engineering at San Jose State. He's created a mentorship program connecting students to African American engineers working in the field. In terms of black engineer, I've heard that over and over. I'm the only one. I'm the only one. And that's what drove us to say we need to build community across engineers at all levels. Professor Arabubu has built a network of African American engineers whose students can meet and learn from and from whose example they can draw inspiration. We actually went to the locations and the sites and you see these people in action, what they do. So it, it becomes more tangible, more, uh, more realistic for us to see what our future looks like. A significant step forward towards ensuring a more diverse future in the engineering field.